Are you looking to challenge your body, really hit all of your muscles head to toe, and maybe finish with some deep hip stretches? Well, today's Pilates Yoga Fusion class is just for you. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. Now, I have got about a 25 minute class that really will pretty much hit everything on the body as far as challenging our muscles. We do end in a lizard pose. This is a really big hip stretch. It's one of my favorites to get into my hips. It is a little more challenging for those of us with either short arms or maybe limited range of motion. When it comes to lunges, you might want to have blocks nearby. I am going to use a set of weights in this class. Mine are only two pounds. Um, I would say probably five pounds or less um, if you want the weights. You absolutely do not have to have them. Go ahead, roll out your mat. Let's get started. I'm gonna start in a child's pose today. Knees can be together or apart. You can also skip child's pose if you know that's not for you. Just allow yourself to recline. Let your head touch the mat. Make this pretty gentle. Let the elbows kind of connect. Don't worry if the arms are straight or not. Know that when you get into your child's pose, you can always modify. You can make little positions as your body kind of settles into it. Take a deep inhale. Big breath out. Another big inhale. Easy breath out. One more breath in. Let it go. Seal the lips together. Breathe through the nose. Open the palms a little wider. Firmly press down into the floor. Think about reaching your sitting bones further back behind you. Inhale, rise to hands and knees. Exhale, arch the back as you recline. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lean back. Once or twice more, waking up your wrist, your shoulders, your spine, your hips. This next time, find your tabletop and pause. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Begin a traditional cat and cow, rounding and arching at your own pace. And then eventually find a nice, long, lovely tabletop. Navel in, chest open. Let's extend our right leg out behind us, tucking the toes and pushing the heel back so we get a little stretch there. And then find your center, lift the foot up. Let's point our toe and imagine I'm holding your ears, pulling them further forward. Someone has your ankle pulling it further back. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, really engage your abdominal muscles more. Squeeze your thut five times. Tap your toe down. Exhale, pick it up. Tap the toe down. Exhale, pick it up. Three more down and up. Two more down and up. Last one, lift up and pause. Big inhale. Exhale, pull your knee to nose. Curl in. Send it out and away. Exhale, curl in. Reach it out and away. Three more, pull it in and out. Two more, bring it in and out. Last one in. Reach it out. Pause. Pretend your foot is sitting on a ledge. I'm going to slide it across the ledge to the right. Drag it back behind you. As you move the leg open and close, notice if you're letting your shoulders or your hips kind of sway to one side. As much as possible, keep those areas nice and still and focus on your leg. Last time, take it open and close, pause. I want you to again flex the foot, touch it down, push the heel back, enjoy that big stretch. Pull your right knee in. Take your left leg away, flex the foot, tuck the toes, find your stretch, and then center yourself, push the floor away, cinch the waist, lengthen your spine, lift, point your toe. Envision I'm holding your ankle, pulling it away. Your leg is so long, so lovely. Tap it down, exhale, lift. Tap the foot down, squeeze your thut, lift. If you're new to me, your thut is your thigh butt connection point. We squeeze it so hard we could hold a pencil between our glute and our hamstring. Last time, lift, pause. Navel in, chest open, big inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it away. It's like an abdominal crunch as you pull your thigh, your shin closer towards your sternum. Two more, exhale, curl in and out. Last one in, 
reach it out, pause. Now again, your foot is sitting on a ledge. You can't go up or down, but it can slide to the left. Drag it back behind you. Now please note that I am not taking the leg as far to the left as I possibly could. I could really whack that leg all the way over in line with my hip, but that's not really the goal right now. We're just opening it to a little diagonal angle, bringing it back. Two more little open, little close. Last one open, close, pause. Flex your foot, touch it to the floor. Take that nice big hinge back. Bring both knees together. Sink back into your child's pose. Tend to your fingertips. Let your head be heavy. Big inhale. Big breath out. Roll up to a nice seated position. If kneeling seated doesn't work for us, it's okay. Modify. Take a twist to your right. Unravel. Twist to your left. Unravel. Find your tabletop again. From here, tuck your toes around the back of the body. Pick up the knees and hover with me. Four, three, two, one. Find a downward facing dog. Now bend both knees deeply. Send your sitting bones high. Shoulders slide down the back so we can relax the neck. Maybe paddle through the feet here, enjoying that nice little stretch to the back of the body. And then from here, walk your feet in so they're a little closer towards one another. Let your right leg lift up. This doesn't have to be the highest three-legged dog. We're not really going for height. Instead, three times I want you to pull your knee to nose round. Inhale, push it away. Exhale, pull the knee to nose round. Push it away. This time, pull it in, pause. It's still that abdominal crunch. Lift away from the floor and step between the hands. If we need a helping hand to get there, that's all right. Find your lunge. Reach your front knee further forward. Push the back heel further back. And plant your left hand firmly on the floor as we take a twist. Fingertips lift nice and high. Pull your belly button away from your thigh. Try to stack the shoulders. Great big inhale. Big breath out. Touch the hand down. Now from here, can we engage your abdominal muscles so much? We float our fingertips away. Are you still squeezing your thigh? Could you roll the shoulders back? Almost push the back of your head up towards the sky. Three times I want you to open your arms nice and far away, drop them down. Exhale, open them nice and far away, drop them down. One more, open them nice and far away. One big breath to reach them in line with your ears. Set them on the ground. Step back to your downward facing dog. Sway the hips a little. Nod the head. Do your thing. Pick up your opposite leg. And again, this is not about height. It's okay wherever it's at. We want to lengthen the leg, flex the foot. Exhale, pull it in. Push it out and away. Exhale, pull it in. Push it out and away. One more. Hold it there, really push the floor away, around the back, step between the hands. Set yourself down, sink into that nice big lunge, and then take your twist, lifting the left hand high. I am stacking the shoulders, I am reaching my fingertips up. Full big inhale, big breath out. Another big breath, set the hand down. Float the fingertips up. This is a big one. I'm imagining squeezing my inner thighs together while still at the same time reaching the knee forward, pushing the heel back so I get that space. Open your wings away, drop them down. Open your wings away, drop them down. One more open pause. Stretch the hands over the head. Set them down, step to your dog. Take a little sway. Take a little wiggle. From here, we're coming down to our tummy. I'm gonna go through a plank. If you don't wanna do a plank today, that's okay, you don't have to. If you're in the mood though, find your plank and pause with me. Squeeze your thud, broaden across the chest. Take a big inhale. We're gonna bend our elbows, pointing them back towards our heels and lower down on a count of four, three, two, one. Un uh, curl the toes, hug your elbows to your sides, start to roll the shoulders back, still squeeze your thut, pubic bone down, inhale, little lift, exhale, lower, inhale, little lift, exhale, lower, last one, baby cobra, reach your elbows towards your heels, push your pubic bone down, lift your tummy in, turn your head to the right, point your nose down, turn your head to your left, Point your nose down and lower.
Sink back to your child's pose again, knees together or apart, totally your call. Tent the fingertips so we get a little stretch there for the back of the wrist. Roll yourself up to a seat again. And then if kneeling hero's pose isn't for us, that's okay. Both hands reach to the sky. Twist right. Unravel. Twist left. Unravel. This time drop your right hand down. Lift your left hand high. And stretch to your right. Come on up. And stretch to your left. Come on up flip the palms, press them down. Now we're gonna repeat a lot of that and perhaps use our weights. If you wanna skip it, no worries. You can just do it without the weights. But I'm gonna find my tabletop and place my weights on either side of my mat so they are nearby. Like we started earlier, we'll begin with our right foot behind us, pushing the floor away, hugging the navel to spine, and if we want to, we're going to catch one of our weights and send it out so it's in the exact same kind of position as our leg. Now, if we end up just keeping the hand right here, because this is an additional challenge to have the hand away, that's A-OK. -okay. Start by lifting the foot up, pointing the toe, rising the hand up too. Now, I would rather you have the hand a little lower than your shoulder than start to take it above the ear. From here, toe and weight down, exhale, lift. Toe and weight down, exhale, lift. For three, two, last one, lift, pause. Take a big inhale, exhale, pull elbow and knee together. Inhale, straighten and reach away. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it out. Three more in and out. Two more. Last one. Send it out. Pause. Now again, hand and foot are on a ledge. Slide them away from one another. Little diagonal angle. Exhale, bring it back. Slide it away. Exhale, bring it back. Three. And two. Last one. Set the hand down. Set the foot down. Uh-oh, if your weight starts to roll away, that's okay. Sink back to your child's pose. Rise back up to your tabletop. Extend your left foot away. Are we going to use our weight or not? Catch it if you want to. Send the hand away. Push the floor away from the body. Broaden across the chest as you lift the foot pointing the toe. Lift the hand. Big, deep inhale. Engage your abdomin mus abdominal muscles. Squeeze your thut. Toe and hand down. Exhale, lift. Toe and hand down. Exhale, lift. For three, two, last one. Lift, pause. Full big inhale. Big sigh out. And then elbow and knee together. Inhale, punch away. Elbow and knee together. Inhale, punch away. Three. And two. Last one. Reach it out. Pause. From here, take a breath. Slide hand and foot open. Exhale, bring it back behind you. Slide hand and foot open. Exhale, bring it behind you. Three more open and close. Two more open and close. Last one, close pause. Set your weight down, hopefully it doesn't roll away. Set the knee down, child's pose. Find your seat, hands to the thighs, lift out of the waist, both hands high. Twist right, unravel, twist left, unravel, flip the palms, bring them down. Now again, Find your tabletop. Let's tuck our toes around the back. Hover the knees. Hold. Three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Again, we can separate the feet or have them closer together, whatever our body needs. But once more, we'll lift the heel. Now big inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Push it away. Exhale, knee to nose. Push it away. Last one, pull it and hold, lift it up higher, find some space, step between your hand. Now again, I'm going to use a weight, but if we want to skip it, it's okay. Hold the weight in your right hand, five times, poke the elbow behind you, drop it down. 
Exhale, poke the elbow behind you, drop it down. For three, and two, lift it up, pause. Start to stack the shoulders, and then straighten the arm up, bend the elbow. Straighten and lift, bend the elbow. For three, and two, last one, hold it right there. Punch the weight up, take a big inhale. Touch it down to the ground. Go ahead and grab both weights if we can. Hover up and away. Shoulders wrapping in. Ribs wrapping together. Tummy pulling away from thigh. Exhale, open. Inhale, drop. Exhale, open. Inhale, drop. Three. And two. This time, open pause, navel in. Send the hands overhead, reach past your head as far as you can. Take a big inhale. Set the weights down. Return to your downward facing dog. Sway the hips a little, nod the head. We'll repeat on our other side. Float your left hand, uh, left foot high. Big inhale. Knee to nose, push it away. Knee to nose. Push it away. Two more. Last one. Push the floor away. Make space for your leg. Step between. Grab hold of your weight if you choose to. Exhale, bend the elbow. Drop it down. Bend the elbow. Drop it down. For three. And two. One. Stack the shoulders, start to take your twist. Unfold the arm, bring it back. Unfold the arm, bring it back. For three, and two. Last one, hold it right there. Punch the weight to the sky, pull the navel in. Set it on the floor, grab for your opposite weight as we did on our other side, float up and away. We should be feeling our inner thighs working, feeling our shoulders working, of course, feeling our tummy. Exhale, open and drop. Open and drop. For three, two, open, pause. Reach the hands high overhead. Take that great, big, beautiful stretch, big inhale, and set everything down. Place the hands on the mat. Step two, your lovely downward dog. Send the sitting bones high, hug the inner arms towards your ears, big, deep inhale, big breath out. Can we wave to our plank and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now lower down with me slowly on a count of four, three, two, one. Untuck the toes. Press the feet firmly into the mat. Stretch your hands away from you. Shoulders down, pubic bone down, belly button up and in. Now can we lift our right hand away? Notice if anything happened in your hips. Set the right hand down. Lift the left hand away. Did anything move? Pubic bone down, belly button in. Set it down. Now lift both hands up. Set both hands down. Exhale, lift both hands up. Set both hands down. Two more. Make sure you're pointing your nose to the ground. Don't look up at me for this one. We want our neck long. Trust your body. You know you can do it. This next time, lift the hands up. Pause. Imagine someone is pulling your wrist away. You're resisting. You're softening the shoulders down the back. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, can you make a little cactus shape with your arms? Bend your elbows off to the side. Try to push your elbows back behind you. Straighten your arms back overhead. Exhale, bend. Straighten the hands back overhead. Exhale, bend. Reach the hands out and away. Pause, take a big inhale. Lower the hands down. I'm gonna place my hands in front of me. You could absolutely let your forehead um, fall onto your hands. I'm gonna stay up just so I can talk to you a little bit more. My pubic bone is pressing down. I'm squeezing my thigh back connection point. Actively press down into your left foot and float the right leg away. Drop it down. Exhale, lift. Drop it down. Squeeze your thigh as you lift and lower. Two more, lift and lower. This time, lift, pause. Push further into the floor with your left leg so you're stabilizing there. Wrap the tummy in. Take a big inhale. Can you pulse your thigh up? 
without straining your neck, your chest. Pulse five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Pulse again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Drop your right foot down. Immediately pick up your left. Touch it down. Are you still stabilizing now through the right side? And it's not so important how high you lift your leg. It might be as high as mine, lower, or maybe a little higher. But really think about the thigh trying to lift away from the floor. You're using your glutes, your hamstrings to accomplish that. This time, pick it up, pause. Stretch your foot further away. Push the pubic bone further down. Stabilize to that right side, little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Touch the foot down. Take your hands by your side. Push back to a child's pose. Crawl your fingers further away. Big inhale. Big breath out. Roll yourself up to your seat. It doesn't have to be kneeling. Both hands lift. Twist right. Unravel. Twist left. Unravel. Right hand down, left hand lifts. Lean over. Come on up. Lean over. Come on up. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Let's take a little spinal extension, leaning back into your hands, puffing your heart and chest up. Our tummy is still working hard to support us. Look forward. One more time. We're going to come to our tabletop. Tuck our toes, round, hover the knees, hold for three, two, one, push back to your downward facing dog. Now we're going to come into a lizard pose, that's a deeper hip stretch, still a nice big lunge. A little bit different though, we will again float our foot up, and now I want you to externally rotate the leg. So flex your foot. When you rotate, rotate from that ball and socket joint, your toe and knee are pointing away from your body. We're still gonna pull our knee in like we already did, but this time try to pull your knee towards your outside elbow. Push the foot away. Pull the knee to your elbow. Push the foot away. Last one, bring it up, pause. Instead of stepping between the hands, step on the outside of your pinky, um, your pinky hand your pinky hand, the pinky on your hand. Play the hands down. Now for a deeper stretch, I imagine pushing my pubic bone closer towards my front heel. Still opening up across the chest. I'm gonna drop my knee down. I prefer to untuck the toes and push down into the top of the thigh so I remove any pressure from my knee. And you can always modify the placement of your hands. Now I really like to send my pubic bone forward, roll my shoulders back and almost look lightly forward. Get that nice big stretch through my hips. You might take a little movement. I always think a sway feels really good here. And then I like to back my hands up a little closer towards my body and a few times push my hips back, push my hips forward. Push them back, push them forwards. Last one back. Send it forwards, pause. Take the hands back to more of a natural position. Tuck the toe, lift the knee. Return to your downward facing dog. Now we'll do the same thing other side. Lift the left leg. Externally rot rotate. And then pull the knee to elbow. Push the foot away. Pull the knee to elbow. Push the foot away. Last one. Step on the outside edge of the hand and start to sink into your lizard pose. Now again, we might stay right here. This is one of my favorites. I can hang out here for a while. You can also begin to drop the knee. Toe could be tucked or untucked. We might stay. You can find a little movement. And then when you're ready, walk the hands a little closer. Push back. Lean forward. And if your leg does not fully straighten like mine is, that's a-okay. When you are ready, return to your lizard pose, reposition the hands, tuck the toe, lift the knee, and find your downward facing dog. Full big inhale, big breath out. Drop down to the knees, sink back to your child's pose. Notice what feels different from the first one we arrived in today.
just allow yourself to settle here. Close the eyes. Now I'm going to stay here as my final resting pose. But if you would prefer to lay on your back, your tummy or your side, you could find a new position for your Shavasana. But otherwise, take a moment to really soften the body. And by that I mean just giving yourself permission to relax. Forgetting about what you think the pose should look like and instead just sinking. Spend the last few moments bringing a feeling of gratitude, of pride into your body. Knowing you worked so hard, your body did so much for you, it deserves this moment of rest, of stillness. You can stay here as long as you like. As you feel ready to move on with your day, give your fingers a little wiggle. Maybe find a little movement in the body. And then slowly roll yourself up to a nice tall seat. Eyes can be opened or closed, but just sit up taller and straighter. A little bow of your chin to your chest. As always, my friends, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good for your body, for working so hard. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again.